Now it's time for our 420 Radio News for Thursday, March 28, 2013. I'm Russ Belleville. New stricter state proposal would allow medical marijuana. This from buffalonews.com. Lawmakers have introduced a measure with stricter provisions than past failed efforts to legalize marijuana sales to New Yorkers who have a severe, debilitating, or life-threatening health condition. The new bill, which ends such past ideas as letting people grow their own marijuana, would have the state health department regulate the process, which would include allowing a certain number of private for-profits or not-for-profits to grow the plants and sell the drug under new security protocols to patients with treatment plans approved by a physician, physician's assistant, or nurse practitioner. The bill has 68 co-sponsors, including 10 Senate Democrats. It has previously sailed through the Assembly. The bill defines those eligible to be certified by the health department to obtain marijuana as someone with a, quote, serious health condition, including cancer, glaucoma, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injuries, epilepsy, diabetes, post-traumatic stress syndrome, and others. The patient would have to be under a doctor's supervision. Patients who a doctor believes have less than a year to live also would be eligible to buy the drug. Medical marijuana also would be listed as one of the covered drugs on a new state prescription drug tracking system intended to reduce doctor and pharmacy shopping by addicts. Bill to legalize tax and marijuana in Maine gains 35 co-sponsors. This from the Bangor Daily News. A bill to legalize recreational use of marijuana and regulate it like alcohol in Maine has garnered 35 co-sponsors and now heads to a legislative committee hearing. The bill, sponsored by Representative Diane Russell, a Democrat of Portland, would make major changes in Maine's drug law, ranging from making possession of up to two and a half ounces of pot legal to imposing a tax of $50 per ounce. It was referred to the legislators' Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee on Wednesday. Russell's bill would make it legal for individuals to grow as many as six plants if they are cultivated in a locked space. She also supports allowing the transfer of the drug from one adult to another without compensation as long as they are at least 21 years old. The bill would keep in place the legal prohibition against smoking pot in public and calls on the Department of Administrative and Financial Services to license retail marijuana stores, cultivation facilities, product manufacturing facilities, and testing facilities. Indiana crime bill could get tougher on marijuana from wishtv.com. The proposed overhaul of Indiana's criminal sentencing laws could get tougher penalties for marijuana possession and dealing after Governor Mike Pence said he wanted it stricter on low-level drug offenders. A state Senate committee is expected to vote Thursday on increasing the felony and misdemeanor levels of the marijuana crimes. That is part of a broad plan that aims to direct more people convicted of low-level felonies to work release and other local programs rather than sending them to prison. Pence told reporters last week he believed the bill should send a message that the state is tough on drug dealers. Concord, California bans outdoor pot growing from the Contra Costa Times. Growing pot outdoors is no longer an option for medical marijuana patients and caregivers. Despite pleas from medical marijuana users, the city council on Tuesday voted unanimously to ban the cultivation of medical marijuana outdoors. Council members said while they understand the medical benefits of marijuana, the risks to public safety were too great. Marijuana trade could create billion-dollar potential for cash-strapped states. This from the Washington Times. Tax gurus are predicting Colorado and Washington could see big bucks, millions or even billions from revenues collected via their recently approved recreational marijuana laws, as other states are starting to take a second look at the potential. Representative Jared Polis, a Colorado Democrat, said, quote, I've seen some estimates in the high tens of millions or as much as $100 million for Colorado, end quote. California is paying attention. The director of the state's National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, Dale Geringer, said California could see new $1.2 billion in tax revenues from legalized pot laws, and the trade could bring in between $12 billion and $18 billion of new business activity in the state, he estimates. That's your 420 Radio News for Thursday, March 28th, 2013. 
I'm Russ Belleville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines and take a look at the report from the Colorado State Auditor's Office on the Medical Marijuana Enforcement Division. You're listening to 420radio.org. This is the Russ Belleville Show. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 